miniature mystery box journals that have tiny stationery in them based on some of your favorite Disney cartoons. Let's see what we have. As you can see on the desk here, we have four miniature Real Littles journals that are inspired by everything from Frozen, Encanto, Beauty and the Beast, and even Rapunzel. I have to say, aesthetically, all of these journals are absolutely adorable. The one that really does catch my attention, though, is the one from Encanto because I do love the color. But if we're being honest here, Beauty and the Beast for me really is probably one of my favorites out of the four. I really wish they did more Mulan-type mystery boxes or even items. But one of the things I have to say that is a little on the weird side is that the Rapunzel one has a hair on it. It's a little weird. I'm not sure why they put that in there, but we'll see if that's actually weird to touch or I don't know. It's weird having a journal with hair sticking out of it. That's just me. You let me know in the comment section below which one of these four do you like the best? And let me know by the end of the video if your opinions changed based on the items on the inside. Oh, and by the way, if you're new here, don't forget to subscribe and click on all notifications while you're there. I do have a sharp pointy thing. This is a sharp pointy thing. Look at it. It's not dangerous at all. It's just sharp and it's pointy and it's not pointing at you for now. Unless you subscribe. You're okay. Salty Crafter, is this the cafe you've been talking about that you're enjoying putting together and just making it thrive? You look pretty happy. And if you grains want to have your very own cafe without any of the risks, then I'd love to talk about today's sponsor, Love and Pies. Love and Pies is an absolutely adorable aesthetic and juicy drama merge type game. And in this game, you can merge different kinds of cakes, pies, and other different kinds of treats. In this game, we're going to be joining Amelia in her quest to renovating a cafe, serve customers, and indeed find true love. But as I mentioned, there are some juicy bits of drama because you uncover some family secrets. And after a long day where I don't really want to think too much and just have some downtime, I love playing Love and Pies. And I know you grains are like me and you love decorating aspects in games and this game definitely delivers on the ability to decorate. And of course you can't do any of that until you serve your customers. So the tips we get definitely help us progress through the game. And this game will definitely keep you on your toes because it's full of so many fun events, free rewards, and so many surprises. And you know what's one of the best things about this game? It is free to download. But Love and Pies and I had something special planned for you grains. And if you download this game within seven days of this video's release through my unique link down below, but hey there's also a QR code over here for you for your convenience. And if you play up to day three, you will receive a free gift in the in-game inbox. Again, that will only be delivered to you within the seven days after. So you'll be getting 200 energy and 50 gems. Trust me, you'll learn how important these are very quickly in the game. So make sure that you don't miss this opportunity with the link down below, pinned comment with my unique link. Thank you, Love and Pies, for sponsoring a portion of today's video. All right, so we're going to keep the ones that I'm most excited about for the end, although the one I'm least excited excited about really is going to be Rapunzel because I'm kind of texturally weirded out by the hair there so we're gonna open that one first and put all the rest right there. And for those of you who are not familiar with Real Little's journals more specifically, here's a little recap of previous ones that we opened on this channel. They're basically tiny journals with little keys that you can open up and get different stationaries in order to use them. And they do come themed basically in the same idea as whatever the front of the packaging says. <laughs> For the most part, they are pretty cute. Sometimes it's an absolute fail, so I'm not quite sure which ones we're going to be getting today. And if you don't like surprises, so here we have the Rapunzel one. If y'all wanna say Tangled, it's Tangled. Why is Rapunzel Tangled? It's Tangled Rapunzel. You could, in theory, turn it around, but I'm the kind of person who does not like spoilers, so I don't like to look at the back. And if you are interested in seeing more of these kinds of journals, I will link some down below. But first, let's see what we get inside. Oh. Okay, this is interesting. So here's what the outer journal looks like. It's kind of magical. It does look like it's blurry or that my camera's not focused, but no, this is just the cover. The cover looks blurry. <laughs> We have the clasp over here, so you can put this on your bag, your backpack, or wherever you like to keep your little notes. And let's take a close up at the castle tower here. We have the hair, which, can I remove this? Okay, I need scissors. Give me a second. So I got scissors because that is the only way we can do this. I'm gonna try and be delicate so that I don't rip the hair. 
Oh gosh, this is reminding me of my childhood when I would get dolls and I would ruin them. Except now I'm trying not to ruin them. When I was a kid, I was ruining all the dolls. So I, ha I have it, I have it, good. All right, so here is our hair. I don't know what purpose the hair has at the front of the journal. It could be a fidget toy, I guess, if you wanna twirl the hair kind of thing. But yeah, it is actual doll type hair that is braided. I know it's supposed to represent Rapunzel's hair that's on the ground. Don't yell at me. I know I'm not that smart, but I'm not that dumb either. <laughs> I know what it's supposed to represent. I just found it weird that it was there. Okay, so now we need to get the key for this. And in order to get the key, we need to open this lock over here, which is in the shape of a heart. And the best hint I have is the back. Yes, so the back of the flower is actually in the heart shape. So we put that in the hole, turn it, and then this should open. Oh my goodness, look at that. We have the key and we have a sticky. Oh, many sticky. Oh, many sticky. Okay, hang on. Let's take the stickers out. So we have a crown sticker. We have our beautiful little pet sticker. Where's the other sticker? There we go. We have a brush sticker and some flowers. I love when the animals are included in the little sets. I know Pascal is a huge part of everyone's favorite. So let's see what else is inside. Hang on, let's close this back. The heart back in and twist it closed voila and here are the keys which are very generic now every key can open every lock in these sets so don't think that you are protected very nice it's not that secure all right first impression on the inside we have all the stationery here here is the theme very floral next page here again we have you can put some notes here we have a little bit of a monday to no no weekend <laughs> Monday to Friday, and then down here is just Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. So I guess you can just color it in. Weekends don't matter, apparently. Weekends don't count. And then next page, we have the same thing, Monday through Friday, so you can say what mood you feel in. Another Rapunzel page here, and then all the rest of the pages should, in theory, be blank. And they do claim there are 50 mini pages, so there you go. Let's take out the Velcro. And we do have a tiny pencil case in the theme of Tangled, of course. Let's take it all out. And it's a little slidey thing like a Ziploc bag. All right, let's pull everything out. Got you. And here's a closer look at the pencil case. It is absolutely tiny. You could probably use it as a coin purse at best, although who keeps coins? <laughs> There's the inside. It's really, really small. I love the art style on this one. Very cute. Next item we have, okay, some sticky notes. How sticky are you? Yeah, okay, it's sticky, not too sticky, but sticky enough. And here we have Rapunzel with her hair. Next, okay, that's cute. We have an eraser with Pascal on it, and it says Disney and where it was made. Again, I love the art style where the line art is kind of there, and then the coloring is kind of a little bit on the inside or outside. I don't know why, I like that style. And last but not least, we have a pencil. I have to say this is kind of underwhelming. I was hoping to see a little bit more interesting items in here, but the pencil just shows us the flowy hair. We don't see any characters, anything else other than just flowy hair and flowers. And there goes the sticky. And of course we have to test the pencil. So we're gonna write test over here. This is a medium push. I am not pressing as hard as down here, just so you have an idea of the kind of pressure I'm putting. And we're going to use the eraser. Yeah, so far so good. It's not the greatest eraser ever because you can still see the word test. And that's even with the medium pressure. So don't use this for important documents, just saying. Now, as always with these reviews, my question is, is it indeed worth the $12 that we paid for everything? So we get the little journal, we get a pencil case, tiny notepad, three miniature stickers or four, a pencil and eraser. Now, not to sound salty, but I've seen Disney items at the dollar store for way cheaper for better products. So as it is for the Rapunzel Tangled Kit, I'm going to say this one is not worth it and I'm going to give it a rating of four on 10. But let, <laughs> wow, that was close. By the way, did you greens know I have my very own craft kit? And this kit is a bear pour acrylic paint kit. As you can see, you get tiny bears that you can turn either to 
keychains or put them on your bags or backpack while totally customizing them to your preferences. As you can see, Mariah Elizabeth and Hope Scope both had fun with these kits. I will link their videos down below so you can take a full watch. And you can either customize these bears with air dry clay or go straight into the acrylic pour part, which is obviously the fun part. And you can make so many different color combinations and even customize them with detail brushes that also come in the kit. This one really does have everything you need, including six mini bears, eight ready to pour vibrant color paints, silicone trays, spatulas, mixing cups, gloves, stirring sticks, and even a divider cup where you can put up to five different colors so they don't mix and match together. And a custom foldable metal rack that we made specifically for this kit so the bears can hang dry. And even a mat for your desk. A full list of everything inside will be on the website, but you can really customize these bears to however way you like, and it is so fun and it's really hard to stop. Did I mention you also get a sticker pack in there with nine to collect, plus one holographic, and if you get the golden card, that is the golden ticket. And I will list the prizes that you can get with the golden ticket, including choosing my next vlog. Thank you again eternally for all the support you grades have been giving me. And I'm just excited to share this project with you. But let's see if the Frozen 2 one is any better. And the front of the actual journal itself looks really cute with just by looking at it over here. And we've learned that we actually have to cut this. Otherwise you can't get it out. So you need your skizzers. And look how absolutely gorgeous that cover is. It's giving metallic iridescent type vibe. And look at it at the back, really pretty. I love the color shift. You can see this color shift from a purple to a bit of a minty color. Super, super cute. And we can see that the main character here is Bruni and we have the fire right on the chest. So we know that Bruni is the, what's it called? The case, the case not the case, the vault. Huh? I'm pretty sure it's not the right word. Is the vault, vault? Am I looking for the word vault? Is basically the cape seek where the key is going to be. So let's twist it open and open. Oh my goodness. All right, let's pull everything out and push it back in. And it is in the shape of a heart. So let's go ahead. Hello, there you go. Very nice. We have the keys and it looks like we have more tiny stickers. What's in there? This is so small. We have a strip of stickers. So these are, are these two? Yeah, these are two separate tape looking stickers. That's kind of cool for miniature stationery. What else do we have? Okay, more tiny stickers. I have to say I like this vibe way more because you can add more of these in your journal. We have Anna and Elsa, cute. And we have Olaf. Okay, I have to say that this set of stickers is cuter than the previous one. And if we look at the journal, you can see a tiny emboss of little snow and stars. So it's kind of cute. And even the lock has a cute little design of Bruni right on top. So let's go ahead and open you up. Voila. I have to say this thing moving around nonstop is very distracting. So I'm going to put it back up here. Just stay. Do not be annoying. Hang on. Can you stay? No, it has to come off. Dang it, that is annoying. <laughs> okay, let's pull this out and let's look at our pages. We have to remove this one. First page, we have little Bruni. His name is Bruni, right? I hope I'm not mixing it up. It's like Bruno, but we don't talk about Bruno. This is the first thick page. Next, we have another page here with the same design of Bruni. And then we have another plain page. And apparently you can go ahead and color in a snowflake. Sure. They really went cheap on the activities that they could have had here. They could have done so much better because these are just pages. They're easy to print. Put a little bit more effort into these. Again, here we have the same thing. And then we have little areas where you can put your thumbs up, your likes, dislikes, and whatnots. Same thing. And then we go into the plain pages for the rest of it. And here's the tiny pencil case with Bruni right on top. I do love the fact that they have a Velcro so that you don't lose it because it is pretty small. Again, we're sticking with the iridescent. Let's go ahead, open it up, pull everything out. I'm not going to look. And here's what it looks like all the way around and the inside as well. But again, you can't really fit too much in there. You could probably, can you put it? Hang on. Can you put a lip gloss in there? I have my lip gloss. Let's see it for scale because I do have pretty big hands, so it doesn't help sometimes for scale. So just so you know, here's a standard lip gloss and it will not fit. It will not, oh gosh, it will not fit. 
I think if I push it in anymore, it's going to tear the entire thing. So a standard lip gloss will not fit. Maybe if you had the tiny ones, sure, but this will not fit. Next item, I'm feeling for it, is, what are you? More sticky notes. Are they really sticky though? I think they are. Yep, they're sticky notes indeed, but they're so tiny that good luck writing anything on these. So that's a little on the lame side. Next, this is different. We have a paper clip. Okay, we have a plastic paper clip again with the theme of Bruni. What kind of really is a bummer is that it's constantly the same pose on everything. On the inside, in the pages. <laughs> on the paper clip. Mind you though, it's different on the pencil case, so I'll take it. And then last but not least, we have a pencil. I have to say this pencil is kind of disappointing because we don't have anything that is remotely the character itself. This is making a little bit more inspiration. Whoever's designing these is doing these with the least amount of effort as possible. So I'm not sure for the price tag if these items are actually worth it. Yes, they're cute, yes, they're thematic, but they are also feeling a little on the lazy side. This one's still better than the previous one, at least in my opinion, so I'm gonna go ahead and give it a 5.5 on 10. And now, Encanto. And if we're going to go by the theme on the outside of the box, we should be seeing Mirabel, Luisa, and Isabel kind of a little bit of everywhere, and I'm hoping it's not just going to be butterflies and greenery. That's my expectation. Anything less than these three characters combined within that theme is just going to be absolutely lazy design. First impression and first inspection, the color shifting on this from green to blue is really adorable. I am a huge sucker for color shift and you could just see it beautifully on the camera here and in the back, just the color shifting is gorgeous. It's more easily seen here on the spine of the actual booklet here. And we do have little sparkles and gold of butterflies and little dots. I really, really hope, I really hope, let's remove this elastic band here, that we do get to see the characters and the keys are going to be hidden in this compartment. Compartment is the word I was looking for, not vault. <laughs> it came back. Now I know my words. So this compartment should have our key and the key opening for this one is in the back of the butterfly. So we're gonna go ahead, push it in, twist it, and hopefully, no, that is not open. Let's try that again, twist and open. My goodness, we have keys and a paper clip. Okay, this is starting off pretty strong. Still, we only have just a butterfly, but the paper clip is pretty cute. And the keys. And I'm gonna close this compartment again, just so that it's not flapping everywhere. Here's what the lock looks like. Again, we just have flowers and butterfly. And look at that, we actually have a little sketch of Mirabel, which is cute. I like this art style. Let's get this open, a little click, and voila, wiggle wiggle. Let's get you opened. Oh, I think I'm gonna be very disappointed. Let's remove the Velcro. I think I'm gonna be very disappointed. I don't see the characters so far. Again, we see more butterflies, very colorful, which I do love. First page, okay. We get more butterflies, more floral things, and sketches, we do have an aardvark down here. We have the symbol of Louisa, a toucan, a chameleon, sure, but that's not what I want. We have the same page over here. Finally, we have some of the characters. We have Mirabel, Isabel, and Louisa. I'm not sure what they expect us to put in these little things here. Maybe they want us to put tiny pictures and we're probably gonna get the same thing in the back, yep. And then over here is a mystery. Is this a family tree? I think this is supposed to be a family tree, although it's kind of upside down. It's more like roots instead of a tree. It's on the other side. Same thing on the other side. Now, if they repeat the same page on the other side, again, that's lazy design, lazy design. Why am I gonna have a family tree twice? Maybe one for each side of the family? I don't know, but it's kind of supposed to merge at some point. And then blank pages, okie dokie. But we do have our tiny pencil case. And here it's starting to have a little bit more personality. We see sketches of Mirabel, and that's it really for the characters. I feel a little cheated though. I really do. Let's pull everything out without looking at first. Feels like there's bigger items in here. And here's what the inside looks like. And just for scale again, you cannot fit a standard size lip balm. The best you could do is put coins in there and maybe the only items that they give you with it, but you can't add more to it. And as per usual in these journals, we have a pencil. And this pencil, again, no characters, we're just getting butterflies. I'm getting butterflies 
not in a good way with this kit. Next, what are you? Ooh, a sticker sheet. Okay, I can dig that. We have tiny stickers. Look at the capybara. Cute. We have the home and the other sticker sheet here. We have, finally, they put some of the characters with little speech bubbles, which again, really tiny. Not sure what they want you to write in here. Way too small. Here's the pencil for scale and the pencil is tiny. It's like I'm showing you tiny things with tiny things. Does it help if I put it next to my face? And next, what is this? Is this a ruler? That is a ruler. We have a ruler with about five centimeters over here and little stencils of butterflies. Again, they are obsessed with the butterflies versus the characters. I'm a little sad. Do they even have it in inches? No. Y'all Amerigrains are gonna have to just work with centimeters here. <laughs> and so despite the theme being really cute, I still feel like a lot of things are missing here to make this set worth the money. It just feels empty and the pencil keeps falling. <laughs> I'm not, ha I'm not happy about this. I'm still going to give it a 5.5 on 10. But you know what? Maybe Belle, maybe Belle. Why, why is it my baby, ba Babby Belle? Baby Babby Belle. That cheese, Babby Belle? I think it's called Babby Belle. Can you enter to play a piece of that commercial? Ba, 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 baby, oh, baby. And this one is just golden color. So I am really excited. Ooh, let's not look at that. I'm really excited to see what it actually looks like. So let's see what we get inside. I didn't expect that. But here it is. Look how beautiful and shiny that gold background is. And from what I can see, it looks like it's going to be entirely themed with the rose. Oh, this is actually engraved. You can feel the actual texture of the glass stain. And here we can feel a little bit of a bump for the gold embeds. We have Lumiere, we have Belle's silhouette, Mrs. Potts, and so on and so forth. And here's what the spine looks like, and here's the back. Oh, look at that. And here again we have Mrs. Potts on the little lock with the rose. I feel like this is going to be heavily themed in the rose, which I'm not mad about, as long as it's not clickbaity, which is okay. This front is probably a rose petal, which also acts as the first key in order to open this compartment over here. So let's twist it. There you go. And let's pull everything out. And we're gonna go ahead and close you back up again. Voila. And the first things we got is a set of keys. And this seems to be an eraser, again, with the glass stained themed rose. These erasers are not usually the best, but I'll show you it doesn't smudge, but it doesn't fully erase either. And let's remove this rubber band. Oh, I think the rubber band's on the inside. Oh, well, never mind then. All right, let's open you up and twist. Oh, okay, that came up. I'm not that strong. Why did you, oh, okay, there was a little little gap in the plastic over here. There's a little gap, okay. Like I ain't that strong. Got you up, wiggle wiggle, and we open you up. Oh, look at that, we have Belle's silhouette. So we can remove this rubber band. We have a pencil case. So we're gonna look at that later, but let's take a look at our pages. So we have Belle on the first page where you can write your name and where you're from. Please don't ever write your addresses, ever, in case this gets lost. Next page, we have more roses and we have Bill, Bell, 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 Bell's silhouette. <laughs> Why do I wanna say Bill? And I'm not sure what she's doing. Is she looking out the window or is she holding an iron? And it's just a lined page. It's gonna be the same thing on the left. This is interesting because this looks more like fan art rather than actual official art. Let me know in the comments what you think. This looks like fan art to me. And here you can put some stickers or pictures or whatever you want. We're gonna have the same thing in the back. Yep, as always, they repeat pages. And then here it says magic moments. We have Clocksworth, Mrs. Potts, we have Lumiere, and the Rose. I'm surprised. The one I thought would have the least amount of characters because I thought it would just be roses is the one with the most amount of characters. And we get the same thing again on this side. And the rest of the pages are plain pages. Okay, now let's see our pencil case. Interesting. Okay, let's pull everything out without looking at it first. Basically opens like a Ziploc bag. Okay, let's get you. I'm just gonna pull everything out. Something feels different in here. Okay, the front of the pencil case seems to have, hang on, this is a little hard to see. We have Lumiere, we have Belle. Belle again, Belle again, smelling the flower. We have the little teacup and that's about it. And the funny thing is, is they're all upside down 
which is weird. I'm not sure why this pattern is fully upside down. Someone messed up somewhere. Next, we have, look at that. We actually have a decent sized miniature sticky notepad. And of course it is sticky, not too sticky, but sticky enough to stick. But I still feel like this looks like fan art rather than official art. And she is holding the rose right there, which doesn't happen. This is not canon, is it? I don't think at any moment she holds the rose, does she? That's why it feels like fan art. <coughs> Maybe it's just me. Maybe it's just me. And then these feel like stickers. Yes, they are stickers. Okay, let's look at the first one. We have, again, this looks like, why does it look like fan art? This doesn't look like official Disney art, but okay, we have Mrs. Potts, little teacup, I don't remember his name, and then Belle again with them, and then the rose. Next set of stickers, we have Belle's silhouette, and a tiny bit of tape that's supposed to look like glitter red, okay? And when I said something felt different, look at what we got. We actually got a rose stackable pencil. These used to be really popular when I was a little grain in elementary school. So basically you can switch to different pencils. These are basically waste because you can't really sharpen them, but you get three different nibs and you can stack them in any order that you want and you'll always have a fresh one. These are just fun. I mean, they're kind of fidgety too. You can move them around. <laughs> however way you want. But we do get them in roses too, so it's pretty cool. And again, just in case you're wondering, I'm going with a very medium press on the pencil. And here you can see the eraser. Let's get this going. And you can still see part of the lead. It's not removing all of it, but it's doing a pretty decent job. Not the greatest, so don't write any official stuff with it, unless you want it to actually still show anyways. And so here's everything we got in this set. I can't help but feel again that some of the art does feel a little off. Maybe that's just me. It's still pretty though, better than anything I could ever do. It just doesn't feel Disney-esque. Again, let me know which one of these is your favorite. If you want to watch more Mystery Box unboxing, make sure you click up here. If you want to catch something a little bit more crafty, make sure you click down here. Until then, I will see you grains in the next video.